Yo, what's good guys? Producer Jamaica here and today we're going to be making a P2J kind of beat. P2J has produced for lots of artists. He has produced lots of hits back to back to back. So today we're going to be working on the song he produced for Stormzy titled Hide and Seek. So without wasting time guys, you know, let's go right into our DAW so we make a P2J kind of beat. Let's go. I'm just going to drag the vocals and like always I've converted the vocals using Audemy. So you know, when producing most times you don't need to do a lot and there's this saying less is more trust me sometimes less is actually more so if you've listened to the song you understand what i'm saying just little things going but that song is really really you know nice so i'm just gonna play what the vocal sounds like <laughs> yeah so if you listen to the song if you're not listening to it just go and check it out man so i'm just gonna bring the vocals down a little bit i'm just gonna send it to my mixer use the eq just to take out some of the lows, you know, how we do it. And I'm sure you guess right. The next thing is to bring in our, our pop plate reverb. You know, this is like what we do every time. So, you you know. Yeah, I've just brought down the vocals more. So, I'm going to be bringing in the tempo. The tempo of the song, like I said earlier, is 105. So, I'm just going to drag everything to 105 BPM. And, um, you know, let's listen to it with the metronome. All right, so the next thing we're bringing in is the chord progression. I'm just gonna go bring in um, Lounge Lizard. All right, yeah, so we have our notes. This, this is our chord progression just going from our six to our one yeah i'm just gonna bring out the vocal so you guys can hear the, the chord well nice so i'm just gonna layer it with some nice um pad so it has some weight to it Yeah, so I'm going to be using Analog Lab 4 and I'm going to use um, my go-to preset. So it's actually good that you guys, you know, save whatever preset, you know, you find to work well for you. So I'm going to use this, this part. I'm just going to copy this and let's call this part. And I'm just going to paste that same stuff here. So but make sure we're on the same key. Yeah, so, you know, you can give, it gives it that together and I'll have this. Yeah, so for what I'm going to do for the pad, I'm just going to remove all these ghost notes. Just, it's just going to be, you know, just the exact notes. Nice, nice, nice. So together we have this. Oh girl, you're signing. No, you're my diamond. You need reminding. Oh man, this is just chill. You know, it just oh man, the emotions is nice. But I'm gonna I'm gonna also just layer it with some with some level of sub bass. I'm gonna use a sub bass and I'm gonna try um this bass in trillion bass. Yep, so this is it big and big and clicky. Yeah, this bass. So let's go with our sub bass. Alright, so I'm just gonna put it. gonna really turn it down yeah so what I want to do over here I'm just gonna use my EQ I'm gonna take out some of I don't really need it I just need a little bit of it
Yeah, so next thing I'm just gonna bring in the drums. And um, you know, with that, we just have the vibe. With the drums in, the vibe is complete. So I'm just gonna go drag in some some and you know, we are using the P2J pack. So I'm gonna go get some nice kicks. So let's go to the kick. Let me go with this, select this, let's go to our rim. kick then I'm just gonna go over to look for some nice high hat for this yeah something like that yeah something like this That's just basically the vibe. I'm just gonna split these drums. So, you, okay, before then, let me just go over and just increase the velocity of each of those sounds. So, you know, it hits, it hits really hard. Yeah, I think there's this shaker. I'm just gonna cut it at some point. So we started like this. Just chop it up. Um, let's see. So I think it's something like this. I think um, we need um, like a high hat like this. So I think it's like one of P2G's like simplest beats. Yeah, then I think next I'm just gonna lay it with with a drum loop. Hey, vibe. Yeah, so just putting iron push out there just to have some have make the beat really hit hit hard, man. So let's oh, girl, you're signing. Let me just turn off the vocals. Yeah, so I think at this point. Yeah, so I think at this point, you know, like an A to an A to eight came in. So I'm just gonna bring in the A to eight. No answer five means this. So the 8 to 8, I'm going to be using it from P2J Park. You know, go to this park for most everything. So um, go to over to the 8 to 8, and I'm going to be using this 8 to 8 bust. Just going to cut itself. Yeah, and just, you know, frame it well. And just make sure it's tuned well. So I'm just going to put that over here, and let's create our pattern 8 to 8. Yeah. So something like this, I think. I think as much as I can remember. But I'm just gonna side chain with my kick. Oh girl, you're shining. No, you're my diamond. Oh girl, you're shining. 
yeah, so I'm just going to sidechain it with my kick. Come over to the sidechain P2J kick. Just bring it down a little bit. So basically, when you're sidechaining, you just your ear, you just have to use. Oh, girl, you're shining. No, you're my diamond. If you want to try out real phones, the you know, you get a code to get like a discount, you know, using real phones. So let's just listen from the top. So guys, you can see that any beat here basically is easy to make. You know, we just have the chord progression, some bouncy drums, and this song was a hit. If you're struggling to make your mix sound really nice, go try out real phones and trust me, you're going to see a drastic change in, um, in your mixes, guys. So thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video. Peace.